All right, guys. So we're back at Quantum Break, and we're gonna continue with the Junction part. We just completed Act One here in this Let's Play, and let's go ahead and get started with Part Two. Uh, as we all know, the time. Ha uh, if you guys viewed my last time, uh, my last game through, uh, my last gameplay, uh, timing is everything, and of course now that it's fractured what's going to lead to it so here we go you guys so let's find out what's going on now my name is Paul Serene I founded Monarch Solutions 17 years ago with a very clear purpose there are those who would question my actions I'm recording this as a final statement of vindication, a testimony of how things came to be. I've always been devoted to my mission, never deterred from my goal, no matter the sacrifice, because I've seen where this leads. I've seen where it all ends. We have a problem. No word from Jack Joyce's transport. It should have arrived here by now. We may have a traitor on the inside. You are due for your treatment. I'll find his violence. Find Jack. That's our priority. Get your best man on it. There's more. As you know, Jack's level of interference led to unexpected complications. Witnesses from the university were transported here. You need to take a look. <coughs> oh, now we're playing as Paul. Okay. Now I see two options. We can use force, remove any loose ends. But if those witnesses disappear, the public will start asking questions. Clear, Potentially turn on Monarch. Alternatively, I might have brought PR strategy, get the city on our side. But that leaves us with the, the loose ends. Precisely. The choice is yours, but keep in mind. The men will view your decision as a unified strategy moving forward. Oh, oh, interactable part. It was the first time I'd visited the Ground Zero operation in ages. The location I'd arrived in when I went 17 years back in time. I guess the location my face. Face. Sir, who is this? Amy Ferrero. She's one of the witnesses. Awaiting your orders on how to proceed. My powers grew stronger, even as the pronouns send no worsened. I could choose a path that would become the actual future, but it wasn't optional. The moment wouldn't end until I made up my mind. Okay, the power junction prevents two potential futures. Your decision at each junction point. We'll steer the stories of both the game and the live action show. Oh, okay. Uh, hardline or PR? Oh. I'll go hardline. I mean, I'll go PR. I want to stay. Again, violence was because of Jack Joyce. Monarch would take a PR friendly approach and manipulate the public into siding with us. Our lies would give us control. The manhunt continues as authorities search for Jack Joyce. Hey, somebody's sneaking around down there. Hey, I think that's Jack Joyce! We'd use the media to expose, then hunt for Jack. I uploaded all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch security station. But the eyewitnesses would be out there, and Jack would learn our secrets. Serene chooses the PR approach. It manipulates the matter to frame Jack Joyce as the villain of the university. Why not? We can't risk any unwanted attention. Convince the witnesses not to talk. Keep eyes on them and send them home. 
Initialize a PR campaign. We need the city on our side. Not this one. She's the head of the anti-mama movement. I think we're looking at the new face of our campaign. That's interesting, the choices. I heard about the decisions you make in Jack, the game. There's no other way out. Go to the machine. Oh, wait. No! Jack! This way! Jack! <coughs> I use my power to guide us, to decide how to best prepare for the inevitable end of time. That gives the chosen few a chance to survive. I've seen the end of time. Interesting. Wow, that's what the community picked? Okay, I mean, that's pretty cool. Interesting. That's actually pretty interesting that what you do in the game affects what happens in life in the story. That's pretty cool. Five minutes ago by my associate, my... What do you want? I want a statement. And you don't want my to outside of your house in your apartment. What happens to me? Well, that's entirely up to you. Seems your work's been undone. We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. How the fuck does that happen? Knowing how isn't important, you just need to find him. Wincott is working on a location. Great. What is it? What? Something's wrong. University. That's not how we operate. It was sloppy. Have all your operations gone smoothly? Go home, Liam. Wait for the call. I'm sure your wife misses you. Interesting. This is.
Good thing about our friend Stan is Stan makes it easy. See, the guy goes around using the same username and password everywhere he goes. Now, <laughs> that means that his cloud isn't so protected. May I present to you Exhibit A. <laughs> wow, God, this guy's swinging through the fences. And what is that? What are you doing, Barry? Coffee cup. No, I know it's a coffee cup, but what is it doing on my table? The fuck? You know what this is? Do they have these in Idaho? I will. Whatever. Use it. You tell me what's next, Brenner? Uh, I don't know. I know you don't know. And that makes me sad for you. All we do now is upload our girls' video. <coughs> and our friends is MZWY. Send Stan a note with some of his private pics. And last but not least, we post a letter. That letter allows Reclaim to take full responsibility for everything that's happening. Signed, that's Stan. pretty manipulative, man. Terrorist, Jack Joyce. You can say it. It's pretty awesome. Shit. <laughs> Mr. Hatch, perfect timing. Me and Brenner, we just dug up some major dirt on uh, <laughs> on our news director over at WZWY. He'll be uh, he'll be running our copy and posting that girl's video within an hour. Good work, with that. Where are we with Joyce? Joyce? Uh, well, I I got a lock on his transpo. I mean, Packed into his camera, and I'm waiting to find a locale. It's not, it's not, it's not incredibly easy. Keep an eye on him, and when you find him, contact Bert directly. I think we have a trade on this. Trade? Hello? Um, I want to let you go, Mr. Hatch. Thank you. Was that <laughs> Martin Hatch? Get the fuck out of my office. Get the fuck out of my office. Man, this is an interesting game. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and skip, guys. That's kind of interesting, uh, with the video. With the TV Let's show. Let's talk about the dry dock incident. Monarch operatives transported you from the university to the ground zero operation at the shipyard. Still upset about that, huh? You were secure, unconscious. Well... Uh. <sighs> Liam Burke went to retrieve you, and you were gone. How? Sleepwalking. Step away! Right now! You have three seconds till I pull. I better move like this. And you're a marksman. <laughs>
We know Beck Wilder assisted you in some manner. Then I'm guessing you know the rest. No, because everybody who saw what you did next is now dead. I didn't have a clue where I was or why. Never questioned it because it didn't feel real. Still waiting to wake up. Okay, that's cool. All right. Beth Wilder risks blowing her cover to rescue you. Sounds like you didn't exactly return the favor. No, I didn't. The target line is certain objectives. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, doesn't last. No good. When the fracture broke time, some objects became unstable. With my new abilities, I could manipulate their timelines, rewind them. Ready a chopper for me at the dry dock. See the whole space on that screen. It was some kind of sick reminder. I couldn't escape what had happened, what he did. I needed to know why, but part of me wanted to put a fucking bullet in his head before he could open his mouth.
There's gotta be a generator around here somewhere. No power. Figures. Sorry. I didn't want to, but they made me do it. They made you do what? What is this? They forced me to make false confessions for the news, I think. I'm so sorry, Jack. They were armed. Hey, whatever you did, it's not your fault. I'm just glad you're okay. Listen. I need to get to the dry docks. Do you know the way? Uh, no, uh, no, I don't think so. But they took me in through a security station nearby. I can help you find a way through there. I owe you. The security station is right over there. Side, but this? They're controlling the entire media, everything. They can't cover this up. It's too big. <laughs> they can, trust me. It's locked. <sighs> okay, there must be a gate control around somewhere. Yeah, I'll check. All right, so let's see what holding on. I don't think you're fast enough. That could be fixed.
like who? I saw them on the way in. These geared up soldiers that blink in and out. Okay. Uh, That's something to look forward to. I I'm loving this game, you guys. You're part of this. I need to know what's going on. You really want to open that can of worms? You just defied physics. I'm entitled to all the worms. All right, my brother tried to explain. Time is an egg, which is now fucked. A time egg, which is, it's fucked. It's like broken. I, I don't know. What? What? Why is there an egg? We're locked out. Maybe you can climb through that open window on the second floor? Yeah, yeah. that should work. Wait here. <laughs> okay, well, I'll fill you in with what I know, but when you put the pieces together, it all goes banana pancakes. So everyone who thinks that Monarch is run by this smart <laughs> ass oh. hash, but everyone here answers to a guy named Paul Sweeney. Now, here's the thing. Paul Serene is the exact name of a guy who's heading some top secret physics project at my university. So it's got to be the same guy, right? I heard that Mama was there to steal the Oh. All right. So Paul founded Monarch. Oh. Great. Window. Do you think you can get in through there? The window, Jack. What do you think? All right, I'm having a hard time. Hey girl. <laughs> All right, that's it. So how are we supposed to get through there? Go back up there. <sighs> Jack's incredible journey continues, ladies and gentlemen. Get the hang of this. 
All right. Made it. Now I have to get to that door. Take a look at the map. Ground Zero. That's the same area my brother used to have his workshop. I may have to pass through there to get to Paul. Paul? As in Paul Serene? That's why you're going to the dry docks. We have unfinished business. You mean we'll stay here until I'm done. Yeah. I think you're right. I'll open the door for you. Okay. Stay in contact. Find a radio. I'll be on channel three. And be careful. Yeah, you too. This has been an interesting. Joyce's location. Yeah, heard his brother scream like a bitch when he died. All right, really, guys. Show his face. I'll make him do the same. Not good. Nice shot. Beautiful.
Yeah. yeah. Any, Any idea, idea where I go next? Well, before you said hi, Gatehouse Squad was talking about activating security measures to lock the door on the second floor. That's a start. Thanks. Looks like a way out. Now, how do I get her out? So where is this? Okay, it's right here. Um. Okay. Where's this other dude at? Alright, so where are these time guys at? I do already start. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, 
Oh, oh man. Okay, that was terrible. That was extremely terrible. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and end the live stream right here. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more Quantum Break coming up very soon. Uh, I will try to upload this to my YouTube channel. Please visit my YouTube channel at Hot Evolution. Uh, please subscribe, you guys, as well. Follow me on Twitch, and so you guys can see. Right now, I'm playing the Division and Quantum Break on Twitch, and more on YouTube as well. So check those out, guys, and I'll see you guys for more Quantum Break in the near future. I love you guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye.